Hey guys, it's Di and welcome to our quiet Thanksgiving at home. So it is just the four of us here today. We are socially distancing and people in our family are quarantining and we're all just kind of doing our own thing for Thanksgiving this year. Um, so we are preparing the turkey in the oven right now and I'm getting ready to start making the sides. So I thought I'd take you along for our 2020 Thanksgiving here at home and some of it's pretty much the same as what we'd be doing anyways if we were around the house We just didn't have anyone over and um, Yeah, it's just the four of us. So hopefully you had a wonderful holiday and had a great time celebrating in whatever way you celebrated and so you'd safe and well and just come along with us for our Thanksgiving day in the life. So this morning we went on a little hike. It was really beautiful. It was about three hours. We called our turkey trot. We've done that the past couple of years actually at various places. So after we got back, I put the turkey in the oven and the turkey is actually almost done. So I'm gonna stick this on the warmer and then start making the sides. So I'm gonna get my warmer out to put it over here on the counter and just kind of start clearing some space. And then last night I actually made a pumpkin cheesecake already. So we've already got dessert done. And then later this evening, we'll probably watch some movies, either Charlie Brown Thanksgiving or Polar Express or something like that. We'll watch those this you know, over this long weekend. Um, but we'll do hot cocoa and I'll break out the hot cocoa bar and all of that after we have Thanksgiving dinner as well. And then whatever movie we decide to watch. So that's kind of our plan for the evening. And I did actually order only a turkey breast, but as you can tell, that's actually a little turkey, like a full turkey. Um, but what happened is Walmart was out of turkey breast, I guess, so they substituted this guy, and so we ended up with the regular turkey. I so a real turkey this year. Yeah, we're getting a whole turkey this year. I'm gonna start getting everything out for the sides that we have. It is just us here, but we'll eat the leftovers. Actually, Thanksgiving leftovers are some of my favorites. So I have everything here in the bowl. We're gonna mix together for um, the green bean casserole. So it's just got some cream of mushroom and some French onions and things like that in there. Um, I'm gonna make some rolls. We're gonna have some stuffing, and then I might make some mashed potatoes, and that's gonna be about it for the regular um, dishes and side dishes. And then last night, I made, this is a pumpkin cheesecake, so this is all ready to go. I can drop it into, I have a Ray done ceramic dish that I can drop this into so it's a little bit better presentation, and that is pretty much it. Going easy peasy this year. I've got the green bean casserole mixed up. And I'm getting ready to put that into the pan. And then I'm going to put that in with the rolls. And I think it's about time I can get the turkey out of here and put it on the warmer. And it can sit on the warmer with some aluminum foil over it for about 30 minutes while everything else cooks. And everything that I have here at the end to do, it doesn't take much time at all. So... It actually goes pretty quickly after the turkey's done. So this will be the next batch of stuff and that'll be done in about 30 minutes. So the bird is all covered up to rest for about 30 minutes on the warmer and I have my thankful for pie. I'm going to stick the cheesecake in here. And I made this last night and it sat in the fridge overnight so it has been able to kind of sit and solidify a little bit. So this is ready to go. Just makes it look a little bit nicer when it's in the Ray Dunn dish. So we are located in Alabama, but we're not originally from here. So I think the Iron Bowl is either today or tomorrow. And when we first moved here, I had never actually heard of it. And like the first year, like I was working, you know, I met people at work that were from Alabama and they were like, oh yeah, Alabama and Auburn are gonna play. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool that they got them matched up and the timing all worked out, like had no clue that this was like a yearly thing. I thought it was like a regular bowl game where like, you know, the teams could change. So that was my first like Alabama faux pas. But I know it's sometime I think, cause I saw like news about it, like Nick Saban was gonna be out, but um, anyhow, we don't watch it because we don't watch college football because we're not originally from down here. If we watch any sort of football, it's NFL. But um, we kind of gotten out of that habit just not being, you know, up north where we would follow any of the teams. So 
that's some point <laughs> this weekend, I think. So we are in Alabama, but I have no clue what's going on with that. So it's either today or tomorrow, I don't know. So while we're over here cooking, I'll give you a little sneak peek of some of the Christmas stuff I have out so far. I am missing a couple of wood gingerbread things. I have not found them, so hopefully I'll find them before I do any sort of like Christmas home tour. So this is not really complete over here, but I did get these canisters this year. I found these in a Huntsville Radon group. Um, this one says, oh snap, this one says gingerbread house. And then I had the reindeer canister from years previous that I got at like a Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I can't remember exactly what store I got it at. Um, but I have those and then I have these from, I think these are from Williams Sonoma that I've had for years. Yeah, William, Williams Sonoma. I got this Holly print. And I also have mugs that I think these are all, these are from 2012. I like that they have the dates on the bottom because you can figure out what year they're from. This one is from 2012. So I really liked this Holly print. So I have those little cookies for Santa tag. So here's a little sneak peek at some of the decor that's over here. Some ornaments over there. And I just found these plates this year. I'm gonna use these to do a Santa hot cocoa tray, but I thought that those would be really, really cute. And then over here by the coffee maker, I have these mugs that I put out every single year, and these are from 2010. So those are some of my favorites. So I'm just getting a little bit of the turkey juices out for the gravy, and then I will put just a little bit into the stuffing as well, and then mix this all around. So this is gonna end up being the gravy. So we normally just get a turkey breast because that's mainly what our family eats. Um, but this year obviously we've got some extra pieces here because we got the whole turkey. And I have a assistant down here that's willing to help with cleanup if anything falls. <laughs> so this is probably the most of what we'll eat but I left the wings out because we may have some of those too. But this stuff's about done so I'm going to get it in bowls and on the table. So some of the stuff I will put on plates ahead of time and then other things I will take the table, the turkey I'll take to the table, the gravy I'm going to put in this little gravy boat and take to the table, the stuffing and the green bean casserole and the rolls. It's just the four of us. I'm just going to serve it up on the plates and get it in there. We are getting all this stuff cleaned up and calling family to tell them happy Thanksgiving now too and then we're going to try to find a movie to watch on either Disney Plus or Netflix. <laughs> 